know your IS code provisions short lecture series. So in this short lecture, I will explain about soft story. Now soft story is one of the vertical irregularities. So what is soft story? So open ground story structure without the provision of structural walls, which is often used for uh, parking facility. And this soft story can be present in any of the upper stories also. Now, it is well known that this top behavior of this soft story during last uh, uh, earthquakes in last three decades uh, was not, performance was not so good. Many buildings collapsed and there was huge uh, uh, loss of life in these buildings. So what are the code provisions uh, to safeguard against the soft story? So let's go into the details. Stiffness irregularity, that is soft story. Now a soft story is a story whose lateral stiffness is less than that of the story above. Very simple. So if say structure has uh, n number of stories, you uh, compute or calculate the stiffness, lateral stiffness of uh, each story and uh, check if the lateral stiffness of any story is less than the above story. So in that case, if it is less, then it is called soft story. Now, as per the definitions, there is a detailed definition is there. It is one in which the lateral stiffness is less than that of story above. The story lateral stiffness is the total stiffness of all seismic force resisting elements, resisting lateral earthquake shaking effects in the considered direction. So if you take say X direction or Y direction, so two orthogonal direction, in one direction, you take all the, uh, the elements, that framing elements, beams and columns, and compute or calculate the lateral stiffness of that, and then combine, combine them. And then you get the story stiffness. Now, like that, you compute in all the stories and check if any story stiffness is less than the story above, then, if it, is, if it is there, if it is present, then it is considered to be soft story. Now in this example, you can see, say Ki, Ki plus one. So that means Ki is greater than Ki plus one. So that means considered story is Ki, this one. And the it, this stiffness of this story is less than the story above. So this qualifies for soft story. So according, uh, according to this uh, equation or this uh, uh, clause, we can say that this story is a soft story. Any story stiffness, if it is less than the story above, then it is soft story. Now, how to design a building which has soft story? Now, usually soft stories are still floors and uh, buildings are most likely to get damaged during earthquakes. So it is well-known well known thing. Now in a building, with stiffness irregularity. So this is one of the vertical irregularities. This is stiffness irregularity. So the following shall be complied with. So what code says is number one, dynamic analysis shall be employed to capture the actual distribution of lateral stiffness along the height of the building. So dynamic analysis has to be performed. Then second is inter-story drift shall be limited to 0.2% of that story in that story and all the stories below, if any, with stiffness irregularity. So if at all say stiffness irregularity is present, say some in third floor, then what code says is uh, interstory drift should be limited to 0.2% and all the stories below. So that means if it is present in third story, so the uh, drift is limited to 0.2% in second story as well as in first story. Otherwise, drift is uh, uh, limited to 0.4%. So above third floor, all the stories can have up to 0.4%. And uh, from third story and all the below stories, 0.2%. So this is uh, any story in which the stiffness irregularity is present from there till uh, the base, 0.2% uh, interstory drift is limited, restricted. Then also in buildings with unreinforced masonry infills, when contribution of masonry infills exceeds 20% in the structural plan density of the building, 
the effect of URM infills shall be considered by explicitly modeling the scene in structure analysis. So what it says is like uh, uh, there are walls in the frame. So sometimes these walls are say one brick thick wall or 230 mm walls and sometimes half brick thick walls, all these uh, kind of walls. Now, if the structural uh, unreinforced masonry infill is contributing, uh, the, its, its uh, value or area is more than 0.2% of the structural uh, wall plant density, then we need to model this unreinforced masonry infills, uh, which are the guidelines are given in clause number 7.9. So another short lecture is there. You can uh, go through those details. So infill walls actually, why do we need to model these uh, infill walls? When we model infill walls, uh, stiffness of the structure will increase. So that means what period will come down, natural period, the fundamental natural period of the structure will reduce. So if fundamental natural period of structure reduces, then it will attract higher uh, earthquake forces. That's how the behavior will be. So if we, if, uh, if mass and the infill exceed 20%, then this provision is there. So we need to calculate the exact natural period of the structure by modeling this structural in uh, mounting this unreinforced infill walls. Now also in buildings with stiffness irregularity arising out of unreinforced masonry infills, provisions of 7.9 shall apply. Now what are uh, this unreinforced masonry infill? So if say structural uh, unreinforced masonry infill walls are present in, uh, in some floors, that will contribute to the stiffness. So that means that is increase in stiffness in some floors. So that means what immediately the next floor, the floor below will have a uh, soft story. So in, in that case, also this modeling of uh, unreinforced infill, infill walls have to be considered. Now, this, there is a condition. This provision is not applicable to such stories which have lower height where the services and utilities are housed. So that is one. And another condition is where the outrigger frame members are placed in them. So outrigger uh, frame is usually a, a, a truss which is uh, running on the uh, periphery of the structure, uh, exterior uh, exteriors of the structure connecting to the core of the structure. So in such case also, this clause is not applicable. That means modeling of that using clause number 7.9 is not required. So stiffness irregularity means, that is a soft story means any story whose stiffness is less than the story above. And uh, if unreinforced mass and infills are present and if it's uh, a contribution is more than 20%, then they have to be modeled using clause number 7.9. So this short lecture is prepared to help students and practicing engineers to help IS code provisions in a better manner. Following references have been used in the preparation of this, uh, this lecture. Thank you.